Hello everybody, welcome back. I want to start this episode off with a new expedition. So we've got quite a few expeditions now that are to my liking. First of all, we got the rescue mission and also the archaeological expedition. For the archaeological expedition, we would get items that we can use in the museum. I'd rather have the rescue mission at the moment because we get experts there that we can use in trade unions to boost productivity or reduce workforce needed um, for certain types of buildings. So I think it's a good time to start with this rescue mission here. And being a rescue mission, I don't know, do we need a fighting ship or what do we need? That's the real question for those missions. First of all, let's start the two mission, two star mission here. That's what I would like to do. And now we have rations, medicine, hunting and crafting. So nothing really for um, fighting. Uh, re re we received news of a maritime accident. It is our duty to rescue who and what we can. And we would get specialists, goods and machines out of that. So let's assign, I think the cargo ship is perfect for that. The Musk Ox. And that is the perfect name for a rescue ship. And let's see, we need rations and good call in the comments. Fish is not really good for extra rations. Um, we should use something that also gives bonus to something else. Like for example, bread. Bread not only gives us rations, but it also gives us faith, for example. If we go down here, canned food is extra rations, rum is extra rations, and also medicine. So that would be a very good one to use. And we do have enough rum, so let's just take rum a bit now. So it not only goes for rations, but also for medicine. Very nice. Now we can choose another item here, like this one here. Expert Planner, he would give us a lot of crafting boost. And of course we're going for our Corsair ship, or Corsair Pirate here. Um, he would give us naval power and navigation, even though we don't need that necessarily, but I still want to use it. And we also need something for hunting, so let's just, well, put coal in there. We have so much, so much, so many spaces here. We could also take another thing for, I think, force, yeah. And that will also boost the morale of our ship here. And we have two cargo slots open for goods that we might receive on the expedition. Okay, morale is 74% and we've got everything checked. Let's start this one. And the cargo ship is on its way. And let's also check the newspapers real quick. Look at that. Everything is red and I can't do anything here because I don't have the influence. So the least I can do is get rid of one of the red things here by just, you know, nope. Distraction. So there I have it. It costs me 10 influence. That's all I can afford for it. And that should suffice. Okay, so the ship is on its way. Am I seeing that right? Where's the cargo ship that I just sent on the expedition? It's already gone. Cargo ships are so fast. So that should do it. Very nice. Let's go back here and have a look. And we are full on steel now for the first time ever. We are full on steam. We produce more than we need. And sewing machines is finally recovering as well. So it's going up. And the same can be said about um, the canned food, which is good looking. And well, everything is good looking. We got so much beer, sausage and bread. <laughs> coffee is looking a bit bad, but coffee could be because there hasn't been a trader in, in quite some time. So let's just wait it out coffee pocket watch is looking good the light bulbs looking good again it was down um and i just increased the slider here for the working conditions to uh, 50 percent um engineers work here and engineers are quite happy let's have a look at them their happiness is quite high so they're looking good and bicycles is low that would re um, increase the happiness for them as well let's have a look at the bicycles As soon as I can find them, of course. There they are. They're at zero. Let's have a look what they need. So they would need Kauchuk and steel. We do have enough steel, so I think Kauchuk is the main problem. We have around 140 right now on our island, but I think this is going down before another ship arrives. Let's find our Kauchuk factory real quick. Should be over here somewhere. I think I've put it to the electricity. We've got the sewing machines here. There it is. And it's actually on full efficiency. So I don't think that that is the problem. I think we don't have enough Kauchuk. So that is something we definitely should look at. 
let's have a look where we have the caoutchouc. So these are our caoutchouc plantations, but as I can see it, they're full, completely full. So this is the problem here, it's 400 tons. So that's a good sign. It's a sign that I was lazy because I forgot to add another ship to this route here, probably. Let's have a look at our trade routes here real quick. There's caoutchouc and only one ship is assigned to it and a clipper as well. So really bad planning on my side. Let's put another ship on it. Buckthorn 2. So now we have two ships transporting caoutchouc. That should do it. That should do the trick. And that should also solve that problem. Let's go down here now. I've sent uh, one of our ships here now to, with more building materials to Mayence. I wonder where it is. It's been on road route, uh, route quite some time now. Oh my, did I send the ship with the building materials now on a trading route? That could be possible. No, it's a clipper, I know that. There should be a clipper somewhere with a lot of building materials. Yeah, these menus are not that good. Okay, did I lose it perhaps? I don't know. This seems very strange to me. There was a full ship with uh, steel beams uh, heading for Mayence. And yeah, kind of is gone now. For some reasons. Well, it doesn't matter. We're going to send a second ship with that just now to Mayence because we need that for the glass production. So that is another, go uh, another well, problem that we have right now, which we're going to solve. So the glasses, one of our last very important goods that we need before we can upgrade more investors. Yeah, so let's just get more steel beams and perhaps more windows or something like that to Mayence. And I would really love to know where my ship is. So if I take my ships here now, and I look for the clippers. This is a clipper here. And I can see what they've loaded. And none of them actually has loaded the materials. So it was full of steel beams. That seems really strange to me right now. Seems like it's, it's sunk. Ah, there it is. That is the one that I sent just now. So, nope, that's still not it. I don't know. I'm terribly sorry about that. Yeah, so we just lost the ship, it seems. And there's an explosion here in Mayence. Let's just repair this one. And yes, I turned off the voice because that was getting kind of annoying. Those notifications about ships being attacked. So now we need to wait for the steel beams, but it doesn't really matter. We can do something else in the meantime. We have to work on the worker workforce. So let's just upgrade a few more here in Mayence. They should be quite happy here because they've got everything they need. For the happiness at least. They would like to have sausages, but I'm not giving them any sausages. Let's go back to our beautiful city. I want to check now if I put the clipper with the building materials on the caoutchouc trade route. That's the only thing that could have happened. Where's my caoutchouc? There it is. Nope, but according to this one here, that's not the case. So let's just trust on that. That is really strange. It seems like the ship has just vanished completely. I can't explain that. But I don't want to bore you now with that. At least we have a second ship with that and our expedition requires our attention. Let's have a look at that. 
So the ghost ship, after weeks of hot weather, supplies of drinking water have become dangerously low. If therefore seems... Oh, we don't have anything for that. We don't have any faith on the ship, so we need to avoid that. And no relief at escaping, we've lost 10% of morale. And leave the ghost ship behind us. Very strange, I think I put something on with faith. Yeah, the bread. I think the bread was it, right? Or the rum? Or did we put rum on it? Probably the rum. But I want to have the glass production in Mayans. Let's have a look. We should have everything there. So we have the the brass and we have the glasses here. And here we have now the spectacle factory. So we have the brass and the glass here. And we still need the second ship that just arrived here for, with the steel beams. Because I want to build a third and a fourth one perhaps. Even a fourth one for the spectacles. Very nice. And the spectacle factory needs 100 engineers. And I don't have any engineers in Mayans. So if I increase the slider now, it should not reduce happiness for any anyone. So we just do that. Let's also upgrade that warehouse here. And we have now another spectacle transport route. Let's see. Yeah, we have... We don't have one yet, so let's create one from Mayans to Sleepy Hollow with class. So let's just say, yeah, about 100 tons. That should do it. And we assign the clipper that's already there, Delphis. And Delphis is on its way now. Transporting glasses from Sleepy Hollow. And I do like that as well. So if you take a ship, if you select one and press F1, we have this beautiful follower camera so we can just follow the ship now forever if we want to sailing from Mayans to Sleepy Hollow on this fine weather here in Mayans of course with this speed it lags a bit in normal speed it doesn't lag that much even though we are in late game now so we have lots of things that need to be calculated and of course that slows down the whole thing a bit but it's still perfectly stable I think looking good so far and I love the view distance you have to other islands and stuff like that beautiful atmosphere I could do that the whole day just following my ships on their routes just watching my harbor here you know working on the ships that are waiting for it in the waiting line so many things that we could still optimize in this game and our expedition also needs our attention let's have a look oh that doesn't look good Calicus Rogue's snare a merchant ship. A helpless merchant brig is being pillaged by despicable pirates. Its captain is a friend of too many of our crew who are ready to die in order to save him. The pirates answer to Calico Roberts, the last terrible pirate, but the light is dim and they have not noticed your ship. What should we do? Ask the advice of your former pirate. I knew this would come in handy someday, the old cove mutters as he unravels the flag of Calico Roberts. They wouldn't dare tear da uh, their master's clothes. As your ship steers into view with the new flag, the pirates do nothing. They fully believe you serve the same master. Your guns fire and surrender is quick. The merchants are grateful and offer considerable con com compensation. Gold and fur coats. And we can take that of course because we have a big cargo ship and our cargo ship is on its way now and there's a specialist waiting a nurse we can always use the nurses for um, expeditions and we also could use more items or more people that we can equip so this one here can be equipped in a ship and the other ones just would use cargo space but if we equip them um, you know they would use the person person item space on a ship so this one down here the item socket and not a cargo slot okay looking good so far the rescue mission and I don't want to do any other mission though the rescue mission with three stars it would need force and naval power so actually it would be perfect to have a ship of the line with that so a liner here would that be possible you need navigation, force, 
But I've used my best items on my other ship. So I think I'm just going to wait it out. I don't think that I would be ready for that. Let's just let's just keep it at that. I want to check on the, the glasses. That production should be up and running now. Yep. And it is. Those are my factories here. Very nice. So now we've done everything that we can actually to increase the consumer goods. Some of those items are still low because of bad route behavior. So we have not em enough ships on the route, for example. One thing, though, is still unclear to me how fur curls is so low. So we have enough furs and we should have enough cotton fabric. Nope, it's down again. That cotton fabric is always a problem, it seems. Perhaps we have an item that boosts the output of cotton. Affects crop farms. Productivity of plus 50 if we equip it with a trade union. Let's have a look at the, uh, the, the farms that we have here. So this is a cotton plantation. And let's see. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't cost us any influence points, so that would be perfect. We could use that on those farms to increase the output. So a cotton farm is a crop farm as far as I know. So we could use it on this one here. So it's not a farm where there are animals, stuff like that. What else do we have when it comes to items? So we could boost it with that. And this affects the red pepper farm. So we got some very nice items here that we could use. Affects all mountain mines, productivity plus 35. Stuff like that, and we would get a lot of them um, with our exhibitions. So fur coats, that's the only problem that we have right now. And I need that cotton. So when I look at my trade route, I should have two ships on that, or even three. Four ships are on the, on the trade route with the cotton. Is it full? Nope, it's not full. So we could use this monitor ship here, which is idle at the moment, to just get more of that. Let's do that. Let's put that ship here on that trade route. So we would then transport that cotton that we need. Perhaps we have to build more plantations here, even though space is kind of rare, as you can see. Oh, we just built a cotton plantation on a complete different island. Let's see. We do have an island here with a lot of workforce and cotton fertility. So I think this is a good idea to do it here. Yeah, so we can focus on, on that as well. If we like to do so. Oh, we, what we could also do is we could just increase the productivity of those plant, uh, plant uh, farms, plantations, by 50% each. It does, of course, increase unhappiness, but we have enough happiness here and on this island here. The only thing that we need is we definitely need to have another warehouse here, because this is totally overloaded. And this one here doesn't even have a street connection. So I'm going to move this one here to another side and have another warehouse here. We can also upgrade. So they produce 50% more now each and the cotton mill as well. So that should solve the problem hopefully. And what we can also do, because I don't think we have enough plantain, fried plantains, though oh, we have. We could up or build a few more Honolero residences here to boost our workforce. And we've kind of neglected the new world in the last episodes. We're definitely going to change that now. So we have a huge population here in La Isla and a beautiful town. But those poor people, they lack some stuff. So they lack hats and, well, sewing machines. And they also lack tortillas. So that's what we want to do. 
in the next episodes we're going to finish those production chains and i have the perfect island for that this one here lots of farmers and lots of space and we're going to start then or let's do it right now shall we let's just start with the tortilla production so we need cattle and corn and tortilla for that and now nah, let's do it in the next episode because we have the expedition and the glasses that we still need to look for and we definitely have to finish those production chains and then we've truly done all the productions that we need let's have a look at the expedition oh i see now the mountain moor, your sailors face the mountain without a map. After racing from guide to guide through the depths of the mountain range, the crew find themselves devoid of a chaperone. The guide supposed to take them on the last leg hasn't shown up at the time you agreed. Forget what initial goal you had in mind. Getting off the snow-topped peak is the only prior priority now. And we have two good ships for that. We have the ship and the captain. Success chance is pretty high with that. And your navigators make do without a guide. Perfect. Getting out of that. Let's continue. So I think it's a pretty successful expedition so far. Hopefully we get something out of that. Of that rescue mission. For now. And there is also a quest. Let's do a quest because I haven't done a quest in the, in the last episode. Let's do one here. Please, a photograph of, of us at the zoo. We may never again have the chance before our little Timothy succumbs to his illness. Oh, that's rather sad. Let's have a look at them. He wants someone to take a photo of him. We have to take a photo of the artisan family. At the zoo. Is that right? So there's our zoo. But I don't see any artisan family here. There it is with their Timothy. Let's submit the ticket. Oh, family tickets on sale at Sue. And we get a precision horologist. A what? Let's have a look at that. What that item can tell us. Can do. It's a rare item. Increases the productivity of 30% for the clockmakers. Well, that is pretty cool. Let's take this uh, this this specialist to our clockmakers down here. So they're here, I think. Gramophone, carriages, and there are the clockmakers. So we could put it there then with a trade union, which doesn't cost us any influence at the moment. So we definitely can do that. And another thing that we definitely have to do is the oil. So as far as I remember last time, the oil exploded, the oil fields. Yep, there it is. Look at that. It's destroyed so it doesn't produce any oil for us. And I send a ship to this place here to get us some repairs for that. And there it is. There's the ship for that. Let's bring that to Catan. Where we can finally then get oil again. And now we have some time for the tortilla production that we wanted to start. So let's do that here. There is some space here. Let's get a warehouse. We have the goods as well that we need. And we need the cattle farm and the corn farm. So we have corn fertility and the cattle farms. Let's start with the corn. Oh, they're big. Okay, we still need at least one field connection. Just like that. And also this corn field here. So these are four of them. And the tortilla maker is producing every 30 seconds. That means we, have, we can build two tortilla makers with that now. And yeah, I think that's a should suffice actually for the population that we have here so that we can even transport some of that to 
La Isla. Or we just make a big city out of this one here. That would be possible. So the corn farms. And we also need the cattle farms. Let's find a suitable, suitable space for that. Over there on the other side. A warehouse. And then we can have the cattle farms here. Every minute. So let's have four of them. Oh, they need more fields than the ones in the old world. I think at least. But there is enough space here. And one on the other side, so that's two. And now we can just build two tortilla makers. Let's do it here. Or shall we? Wait, wait a second, let's do it here. Two of them. So that's the tortilla makers producing that now for us. The corn farms, oh my, that looks, that looks awesome actually, with the winds. looking over there our beautiful corn farms and the cattle farms producing now and that should increase our worker workers population on this island here where there is a festival at the moment And we have this production chain finished now as well. I think we can expand on that. I'm going to do that and then transport some of those tortillas to, uh, to La Isla. Which is kind of our main city in the new world. And to finish this episode off, let's see what the expedition tells us. The next step. Oh, sickness again. The broken mast. Sailor under the mask. Cut his leg with a bone saw. Let's do that. An extreme but commendable choice. The sailor is given rum to drink and a cloth to bite before he is held in place and his leg bound with a tight tourniquet. The doctor's labor is gruesome and the man can feel the grinding cuts as they tear through him and he screams through the cloth as he howls and he roars and yet the doctor stays composed and focused. When the leg is finally cut and the sailor dragged away, the crew feels reassured that they are in capable hands. And let's continue. So we'll see the end of this expedition and the next episode. Stay tuned.